going on there, buddy? So, in this video today, basically what I'm doing is just relaying a message. It's another prophet that I know is named Dontarius. His wife had a prophetic dream about Shaq. I prayed about it before I came on here. And I'm going to get right into it. Basically, in the video, his wife was describing a dream she had about Shaq. It was a big book that was open in front of her, and she was seeing people that God had reached out to, but they didn't respond back. Like they didn't care about God reaching out to them. So they just didn't want nothing to do with God. God showed her one lady, she was in the bathing suit, went to a swimming party, and she got drunk, she died. He showed her another woman that was in the cast and dead. He showed her two other people, and the last person he showed her was Shaq. Basically what happened was, God told her, he was like, I reached out to him when he was younger. Because in the dream she described him as being younger, probably when he was on the magic, she said he had a gold necklace on and a gold ring. And she was saying how God was saying that he had reached out to him, but he didn't respond back. Basically like he didn't really want nothing to do with God because Jesus, you know, being more specific, because, you know, Basically what she said is that she said that in her dream, she said Shaq was like, it's a privilege for God to know who I am. You know, it's like, uh, you know, basically my message is, you know, Shaq's still alive. Jesus wanted to use Shaq to minister to this younger generation. Shaq got a big following and the Lord Jesus Christ want him to spread the gospel of his name because he wanted as many people to be saved as possible. There's so many people that look up to Shaq. And if Shaq today, if he got on his knees and accepted Jesus into his heart and started preaching the gospel, this I'm telling you there'll be so many souls that'll come to Jesus just because Shaq alone. God blessed him with an amazing ability to play basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, like y'all seen how Shaq played. One of the most dominant players we ever seen in the history of this league. You feel me? And the thing is, I like Shaq. I ain't got nothing against him. This message is for you. Jesus Christ want to use you. He want to come into your heart. He want to soften you. He want to touch you. He want to touch your family. He want to use you all in a mighty way to touch other people, to lead other people to Jesus because he want to save souls through you. So this message today, Jesus want to use you. The girl, the dream the girl had, it's a, it's a prophetic warning to Shaq. And I know he gonna see this video. I pray, have faith, that he see this video and he get touched by it. Because God Almighty is gonna use you. And the thing is, you know, this ain't just a, this ain't just a warning, it's a warning to everybody. Everybody that's, that feel like money, and riches, and everything that they got, you know what I'm saying? It's basically like, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like some folks think that they got everything that they need because they rich. That's a lie. Because money can't buy you, you know, money can't buy you. Yeah, it can buy you happiness, but it can't buy you eternal happiness. It can't buy you eternal peace. The only way you can get eternal happiness and eternal peace is if you come to the Prince of Peace. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. You feel me? So the thing is, if you want total peace, come to Jesus. Heaven and earth will pass with my words stand forever. This material stuff is going to pass away. Jesus ain't going to pass away because he's going to stand forever. He's going to stand seated at the right hand of the Father on the throne of David. This is going to happen, you feel me? So the thing is, God wants us to value him more than we value material things. We can have all the money and the riches in the world, but what, what, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul, you feel me? Because the main thing is God wants to use his folk, you know what I'm saying? He wants to use his people because at the end of the day, it's about Jesus, it ain't about the world. God, yes, he can bless you with earthly things, but at the same time, is you gonna value them earthly blessings more than the person that gave you them blessings? Or is you gonna value that on him? He wants us to value him. He wants us to value Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it says every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He coming back with a sword. He ain't coming back to bring peace. He coming back with a sword to divide and conquer. He do, it's, a, it's a separation of wheat from the tears and sheep from the goats. Mother against mother-in-law, father, you know, you know the scripture how I go, you know what I'm saying? And again, I ain't doing this for clout, you know what I'm saying? I was just led by the Spirit of the Lord to do this, you feel me? And the thing is, you know, I know that when Shaq come to Jesus, God gave me a vision. When Shaq come to Jesus, 
I literally seen him, I seen Shaq with a golden crown on his head and a white robe on. Because he was doing the will of the Lord, he was doing the work of the Lord. So Shaq, this ain't just a warning, this is an encouraging message to you. God would be, Jesus would be so happy if you just came to him because he gonna do a mighty work through you, I promise you. I pray that Jesus touch your heart. I pray Jesus give your family and you dreams and visions. I pray he speak to you in your ear. You know what I'm saying? Because Jesus Christ is real. You know what I'm saying? And he want to use you. And I promise you, if you get on your knees today, bow down and accept him, you will see God work in your life like never before. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. You will see that. You know? So, this is, this is a warning to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm gonna be honest with you. The way God used me, he gave me prophetic warnings. He only gave me one prophetic warning that was from California. But the prophetic messages he gave me is words of comfort. This is on a rare occasion where God lead me to give a prophetic warning because God had gave it to somebody else. God had put it on me to share with the whole world because I got a bigger platform than he Not that it matter, but God wanted me to, to, to use my platform to spread this message because he wants Shaq to see it. You know, um, and again, I don't like giving, you know, prophetic warnings and messages, but, you know, at the end of the day, God told me to do something, you know what I'm saying, I gotta do it. So, you know, I pray that, you know, y'all understand, you know, what's going on, and I pray that y'all be blessed.